Uganda for years has been grappling with a problem of ticks, especially among the livestock farmers. It is one of the countries that have been hit hardest by the ticks and tick-borne diseases with over 30% of the calf crop lost to tick-borne diseases such as the East Coast Fever, Thaleriosis, Babesiosis and Anaplasmosis. East Coast Fever, uh, this is Babesiosis or Anaplasma. And as plasmosis. Farmers have for a while used acaricides, pesticides that target ticks and mites as a tool to combat the diseases they carry. But the last year have seen several livestock farmers reporting more instances of acaricide failure and ticks becoming more resistant to drugs. One is boroflas. It causes a disease which causes which the animal urinates blood. At Kololo Independence Ground, we found a team of researchers who have been working tooth and nail to find a solution to the tick bone diseases that have been rammed through cattle in the corridors. Margaret Saimo Kahwa, a senior lecturer at the College of Veterinary Medicine, Animal Resources and Biosecurity at Makerere University, says they are now experimenting with proteins from ticks to develop an ant vaccine for farmers struggling with tick bone diseases. She shares the process of making the vaccine. We take the, t the tissues, then we process out their DNA, then after processing out their DNA, we put it into a system which is going to produce the same protein. And this system which we are using right now is the yeast system. Saimo says that they are not reinventing technology and says developed countries like Latin America, Cuba, have managed to invent their own vaccines which are not effective on Ugandan cattle. The team now has the task of inventing its own vaccine that will help Ugandans. She shares the stages they have gone through when it comes to the application of the vaccine. We first started in the mice. We put these proteins in the mice and we saw that the mice developed antibodies or soldiers which could fight against the ticks. From the mice we went into the rabbits, then from the rabbits we went into cattle. She observes that this anti-tick vaccine kills effectively and reveals the types of ticks they are targeting and the disease they cause. We have the blue tick. This one is found all over the body, but it causes a disease which is which is the, the, the cow will urinate blood. Then we have another tick which has like a flower. This one causes a disease which makes the cows go round like as if it is mad. The brown ear tick causes a, a disease which is known as East Coast Fever. However, she assures Ugandans that the vaccine doesn't have any effects to the consumer or any animal that has been vaccinated by the anti-tick vaccine. It is a protein. Usually proteins, uh, when you eat, they undergo a different system to be destroyed, uh, to be degraded in the body so it will not really affect them protein is extracted from the brown tick which attacks around the eyes and ears because this particular tick causes yeast fever diseases which is more prevalent in most cows in uganda especially in the hybrid cows this is the second day of National Science Week exhibition here at Kololo Independence Ground. It's amazing to see great local innovators from transport to health and beauty. This event will be culminated tomorrow by President Yoweri Museveni as Uganda joins the rest of the world to celebrate World Science Day. Yves Masawi, CTV, PM Edition.